you know, during my lifetime of dating, sleeping with women, knowing women, right? There's been about five that were, um, that could get me, could understand me, that could control me, that could dominate me. But I didn't let them know that I knew they didn't know, they didn't know. So the relationship wound up ending anyway. But it ended because I knew the power that they had over me and I didn't like that. You always wonder why the narcissistic or the to toxic person always comes back. Well, here are a few reasons why I'm writing them off my list. Why they come back? They won't tell you, they just show up. And when they show up, they're aggressive. They want what they want. They're begging and pleading. So here are some reasons why they just won't go away. One, they are deeply attracted to you. You're like, but how? They don't act like, no, they, they won't tell you. Hey, hey, baby, you know what? I'm deeply attracted to you. It's like narcissistic secrets, right? They don't want you to know how much they like you because these narcissistic men and women have grown, have grown into this person that they created. When they were younger, they were probably bullied, uh, called ugly, called fat, put down, right? Forgotten about, kicked to the side. But then they became deeply attracted to somebody as they got older and they created this person that was so, supposed to be strong, right? And, and confident and cocky, but they're really not. And so they become deeply attracted to people that they like and they're afraid to say it, but they so they show it in weird kind of ways, but they won't tell you I'm deeply attracted to you, but this is why they keep coming back. Deeply attracted to you, they can't break you, right? They enjoy traumatizing you, they enjoy bullying you, they, they enjoy abusing you. Uh, they, are, they are afraid to love you because they had that, that fear of loving someone when they were a child and they got, they got uh, abused, they got kicked to the side, they got forgotten about, they got put down. So they are afraid to love you, right? Does, they don't want anybody else to have you. So they'll stick around, they'll come back, they'll make you uncomfortable to date. And this is why they keep popping up. So they want you to kind of like turn around and say, okay, I'll give you another chance, Leon. But you can't because they ruined it, right? Um, they are addicted to you. They are addicted to your ways. They are addicted to your knowledge, your vision, your power, right? They are addicted to your network, your, your net worth. They are addicted to your being. And so they know that they really like you, but they are afraid to show it. And so that's why they suppress those feelings, those emotions, that empathy, because they were broken as a child. They don't want you to break them, but you have the power to break them. You have the power to, to dominate them. You have the power to control them. And they know it. Those five women that I mentioned, they, they didn't know that they had the power over me. I knew that they had the power over me. So I had to act the fool so they wouldn't think that they had the power over me. But the, you know, the, the relationships ended, so I moved on. But I constantly find myself thinking about them to this very moment. I do. Um, and they notice that they can't defeat you. For some reason, you're strong. Some, for some reason, you have them figured out. For some reason, you are better than them, and they know it. I knew these women were stronger than me. Emotionally, I knew these women were better than me. I knew they had a better life, a better lifestyle than I did, but I couldn't admit to it. Haven't you noticed that towards the end, or when the end is near, or when it's the end, they are not embarrassed about popping up. They are not embarrassed about knocking on your door. They are not embarrassed about crying and sobbing around you, in front of you. Yeah. That person is the reason why they keep coming back is because you have the overall control and dominance over them. You don't even know it, but you're like, why does he keep coming back? Because when we were dating or when we were married, Leon wasn't like, like this. Leon wasn't nice. Leon wasn't showing me attention. Leon wasn't caring and loving. And then in the end, they want to come back and with these sob stories, these tears popping up, threatening you. They go up and down, in and out, hot and cold. I was all of that. And a lot of you are going through that now. So be careful. When it's over, it's over. Protect yourself and move on. All right, y'all have a great day.